Alright, welcome back to another entertainment buzzer. Let's get right into it, guys. Alright, guys, make sure you go over to webacinema.com where I released the movie buzzer this past Sunday. Where I actually I have information in that video, but it's not in this video and will not be on YouTube. Where I talked about Saw 3D, uh, the new 30 Days of Night movie, Scott Pilgrim, and other stuff as well. So definitely go check out webacinema.com and check out the movie buzzer. I watched Cop Out over the weekend, and I gotta say this, I'm, I wasn't really impressed with the movie. Um, it looked real good, real funny from the, from the preview for, of it, and I wasn't too keen on going to see it in theaters, but I was like, okay, I'll wait till DVD and then watch it then. Well, I got a chance to watch it, and about halfway through it, I got bored with it because it just wasn't as good as it, the trailer let it out to be. So, therefore, I I really don't recommend renting. I mean, rent with extreme caution on this um, because Bruce Willis and Tracy Morgan, I thought, would have made it probably cool comparing in this video, in this movie, and it wasn't. So, that's my little tiny review on Cop Out. A new picture for, or the concept basically, art for the new Godzilla movie actually got released at Comic Con this past weekend. And it shows kind of what their idea of what they're wanting to do for the new 2012 Godzilla that's coming out. So, here's the picture guys. What do you think of it? Leave it in the comment box below. Well, at Comic Con they mainly, they, they gave the whole casting for the Avengers movie for 2012. Josh Whedon, who, direct, who, who oversaw the Buffy the Vampires and Angel series and stuff like that, is directing the movie. Which I'm actually pretty happy about. They also, of course, announced who that Mark Ruffalo will be playing the Hulk in the movie. Where, of course, he is replacing Edward Norton. Fucking horrible casting. I, they got the guy from fucking 13 going on 30 to play the Hulk. I mean, seriously, I'm... I'm Edward Norton was the greatest Hulk that I've seen. You know, even I even give Eric Bana very good credit for his role as the in the 2003 Hulk. So this guy's got a lot of big shoes to fill, to, you know, to do this movie justice. And of course, they also um, announced that Renner will be playing Hawkeye in the movie, and just it was they got all their cast now for the Avengers. What do you think of? Mark Ruffalo playing the Hulk, Renner playing Hawkeye, and just the overall cast of now the Avengers. What do you think of it? This was actually kind of weird, because I just did my series review of Buffy the Vampire Slayer on Extra Reviews. And then here at Comic Con, they announced that they are going to release Season 8 as a motion comic on DVD coming in January they're actually going to release the episodes one by one on iTunes which you can actually go get the first one now for what I'm understanding and then they're releasing the box set in January on January 4th so it was kind of weird that I just did that review because I wanted to do it on my fa one of my favorite television series and then here at Comic Con they actually announced that they're going to release you know the comic books from where it can, you know that progressed off the story of after season seven into season and made like a season eight, and now they're gonna make it a motion comic and it's coming to DVD. So that's actually kind of weird and kind of cool. But what do you guys think of the Buffy motion comic coming, you know, out? And, and if you have actually watched an episode off of iTunes, let me know how you what you thought of it. I mean, was it any good? Was it voiced by the same actors? I do not know this information yet, so just let me know. Hit me up. In comic book news, they're actually going to be bringing back Carnage back into the movie. In comic book news, they're actually bringing Carnage back to Amazing Spider-Man. That's right, coming this September, Carnage will return back into the Amazing Spider-Man after his defeat in Century. And he'll be coming back a little bit different. In fact, they're even making Carnage a girl. Really? I mean... Why couldn't they just leave a character alone? Seriously. I mean, I'll probably go get these books. Um, because, you know, I'm a big Carnage and Venom fan when it comes to the comic books. So, they'll actually get me probably back in to getting the comic books again. But, 
what do you guys think of Carnage actually going to be now, I guess, a female? So, just write it in the comment box below and let me know what you think. Well, they finally revealed everything for Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. I got to actually see some real gameplay for the game. And when I'm, I can't wait for this game. I'm, for once, I'm actually looking forward to a Spider-Man game coming out. It is actually one of the best games that I've seen. One of the actual games that I've seen coming out that I'm actually interested in. Now, it does come out a week before Halo Reach. So, I'm kind of bummed about that. Reach because it's going just going to get blown out of the water by Halo Reach. And as soon as Halo Reach comes out, I've already got mine pre-ordered, so therefore I already got that belt. And of course, I'm gonna be on it all the damn time because it's Halo. Um, but I will be playing Shattered Dimensions and giving my thoughts on that game as well. Street Fighter versus Tekken. This one uh, I have actually I've gotten messages on. Storm Zinc got messages on. What are our thoughts on this movie? Well, me personally. Everybody knows how I felt about Street Fighter 4. I mean, it was you watch my review on it. That's how I felt about that game. I wasn't into it. I just didn't get into it. Tekken 6. It was another. I, I enjoyed the fighting part, but that was about it. I I don't get into storylines or anything like that. So these two franchises finally meet, and it's a dream come true for a lot of fans of those franchises. And for those fans, it will be. For me, it's just another fighting game. And yes, I'm going to probably pick the Street Fighter side over the Tekken side because I know more of the characters on the Street Fighter side. Um, it looks like it's going to be 2D, which I'm... I guess I'm going to have to get used to, you know... It looks alright, I can deal with it now compared to how when I first played Street Fighter 4. So... But my thoughts on this game is, again, to me, it's just another fighting game. I'm more looking forward to the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 because I'm a Marvel fan. I like Marvel. So, therefore, I'm looking more forward to that than I am this game. I mean, but what are your thoughts on Street Fighter vs. Tekken coming out? That's it for the Entertainment Buzzer, guys. I want to let you guys also know at the end of this month I am going to be deleting all my copyrighted um, videos that I have on here on YouTube um, due to the fact that um, I mean, I'm actually kind of pushed to go for partner and stuff on this on this channel and stuff so I'm going to be deleting all those. Um, mainly it's all the videos from last year. Every video that I have put out this put so far this year, none of them have copyrights in them because of course I did away with all the music. Um, that I have actually in those videos. So, you know, because I did my own intros and stuff like that. So, therefore, all that, all my last year videos probably will be all deleted because they all have music in front of them. So, if you want to check them out, go check them out one last time as they're going to be gone by the end of the month. So, until next time, guys.